Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to do anything Assassin's Creed Valhalla related, but this is also kind of related to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which doesn't make this a good lineup. But I recently thought of this and I really wanted to make a video about it. In the last two Assassin's Creed games, namely Valhalla and Odyssey, you could play either as a male or a female character. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, it was two distinct characters, Cassandra and Alexios. And in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you could play as either a male or a female, but with the same name. I'm not the only one who thinks this is kind of strange and doesn't really line up with what they did in the past, namely one character. And yes, it was mostly males, but I will get into that later. Let me explain for a bit how I think at least the Animus works. It's a really complicated thing even when it doesn't exist. So it's just my interpretation of what it does. Uh, I'll, yeah, just roll with it. I won't get all technical and stuff with your DNA and stuff like that. But what I think is important to state that it is always one character, not either two. Uh, for example, in Origins, you could play as Bayek or Aya, but you had to find the DNA of Aya to play as Aya. Oh, that's a lot of Ayas. That is because you are reliving the memories of that person that has already died. Um, in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, they said that the DNA was so fucked up that... You could choose, which is kind of strange, and in Valhalla I haven't really found the reason why they did it. But this video is about how I think they should do it, or how to fix the problem, I guess. Like I said in the last video, Ubisoft isn't going to magically change their shit because one dumbass said so on the internet, but still. I have been playing a lot of GTA 5 recently, and since I broke as fuck so I can't pay for PlayStation Plus, and have no friends, I'm not playing online, I'm playing the single player again. In GTA 5 single player story, you can play as Michael, Franklin or Trevor. When you're free roaming, you can switch between those three and sometimes even in missions you can switch between them. They interact with each other and they also have their own storylines. What I'm trying to say is that this method is way better than have one character be multiple characters. I mean, if they did this, wait a fuck. They already did this in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Okay, I know Assassin's Creed Syndicate isn't really my favorite and I said that a couple of times, but this system did work. And it was at least fun to experiment with and maybe you should pick it up again, Ubisoft. But there's one other thing we can talk about. To be honest, when researching this, I could not really find anything about it. Although I'm sure that someone has talked about it, so let me know in the comments if you know anything about this. But I remember that someone at Ubisoft said that they wanted to make a unity inside of an Origins. What I'm trying to say here is that Ubisoft wanted to make smaller games inside of bigger games. I think at least. But what this could mean is that we could have multiple characters inside of one game having their own little game, basically. You get me? Is this like Gameception now? But I'm kind of curious what you think of this. Is this just me rambling shit at 11pm or um, do I really have something here? I don't know. I'm just... This came up to me and I thought like, yeah, I should make a video about this. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, also, just like, subscribe to that bunch. Uh, you, you know the drill. If I sound a bit tired, I am. It's like I said, 11 p.m. But yeah, I hope some guy at Ubisoft sees this and I don't know, invite me to be their head of company. I don't know. Have a good night.